And now, here to entertain you all, because every day he's hustling. Side Hustle Cinema. Welcome back to the channel, Side Hustle Cinema here. Thanks for clicking on this video. And it's another Blues Day Tuesday. It was a pretty good release week this week. We had a lot of pretty cool stuff coming out. We'll take a look at everything that came out today. We'll take a look at some pre-orders and some things that are unofficially coming out. We'll take a look at a few deals that are out there. I'll tell you about the things that I plan on picking up. I got a new segment coming up later on where I do a 60 second review of a movie that's going to be kind of a recommendation to you guys. And then we'll jump ahead one week and take a look at everything that comes out when I see you next Tuesday. Well, we got a lot to get through today, so let's start talking about some upcoming movies and some pre-orders. Second Sight will be bringing us The Hitcher uh, on 4K at, at some point this coming year. Uh, later 2022 is, is what's projected. No official release date on this one just yet, but this is really cool news. I mean, I, I love that movie. It's a, it's a great movie. This one was only going to get a Blu-ray release uh, at first because they, they couldn't find the, the camera negative. But uh, with the help of the Warner Brothers Archive team, they were able to you know locate that camera negative. And so now that they have that, we'll be able to get that 4K release. I actually hope that Second Sight does the big box treatment on this one. You know, they do a lot of uh, really cool packaging on some of theirs. It's a little bit pricey, but it's it's definitely worth it. For what you get so yeah I'm pretty excited about this one it'll, it'll be cool to get this one on 4k we have a couple of 4k announcements coming from Kino Lorber they'll be bringing us the apartment on 4k and that'll be coming out on March 8th and then we'll also be getting uh, Eastern Promises coming out on March 22nd of course Kino Lorber continuing to put out those 4k releases it's uh they give you a good mix. Old, some newer stuff. But they do a fantastic job. So, you know, more than likely I'll probably be picking up both of these. I've seen Eastern Promises. I haven't seen The Apartment. Paramount Pictures is bringing us Coming to America. You know, the sequel to Coming to America. And that one's coming out on March 8th. This one, you know, came out last year. It was on Amazon Prime. It was one of their, you know, exclusive movies. And for the most part, it, it's it sort of had negative reviews. I don't feel like it was so negative that, um, like, I, I didn't think it was a bad movie. I kind of liked it myself, but it just wasn't as good as the first one. I mean, the first one was so good. This one wasn't as good. I wouldn't say it was a bad movie. It was just a little disappointing, I think. And it looks like it's just coming out on Blu-ray, so no 4K on this one, I don't guess. Um... You know, it kind of sucks since the you know first one's in 4K. It would be nice to have both of them. But, you know, at least it's coming out on Blu-ray. And an unofficial release um, coming from Sony on April 19th. It's fingers crossed, hopefully this is true, uh, that we'll be getting Heavy Metal and Heavy Metal 2000 on 4K. I've actually never seen Heavy Metal 2000, but I know Heavy Metal is sort of a, you know, a cult hit. You know, it's got a big following. A lot of people know that one. I know I watched it many times, you know, growing up. And was really like kind of one of the first, you know, adult cartoon type shows that I ever watched. And I absolutely loved it. I have it on Blu-ray, but I think it'd be pretty cool to get on 4K as well. Uh, pretty excited about these two releases. Never seen the second one. Uh, let me know, is it as good as the first? Or No, yes, maybe? <laughs> is it worth picking up? I, probably. And the other movie I wanted to mention real quick was uh, another one of my favorites growing up, and that was uh, Dream a Little Dream, you know, with the two Corys. Uh, that one's coming out on March 15th as well. Uh, Lionsgate will be putting that one out, so maybe it'll end up being a Vestron title. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Now let's talk about a couple deals that are out there. And with a lot of people picking up No Time to Die, 
Maybe you don't have the other Daniel Craig Bond movies. Well, they've got the Daniel Craig collection, which is the four Daniel Craig Bond movies uh, that came out before No Time to Die. And you can pick up all four of those in a nice set for only twenty nine ninety nine. That's uh, that's a really good price. I mean, that's under under ten dollars a movie. And any time you can get a 4K under $10, that's that's a heck of a deal. We've got Unbreakable on 4K, and it's just $13.99 right now. That too is an, it's a really good deal. And I didn't pick that one up, you know, last year when it when it first came out, so I, I still need to add that one to my collection. I might be picking that one up myself. Also, a deal that's just too good to pass up, if you don't have either one of the Alien vs. Predator movies, some people like them, some people don't, but they've got both of them in, in a two-pack, and it's only $3.99 on Blu-ray. $3.99, you can't really beat that, so um, they're definitely worth $3.99. I actually like those two movies. Also for just $3.99 is Dodgeball on Blu-ray. Uh, I don't know anyone who doesn't like dodgeball, and so if you don't have it in your collection yet, $3.99? That's, that's like thrift store prices. That's, that's a great deal. And if you don't have Liar Liar pre-ordered yet, the 25th anniversary edition that comes out next week uh, from Shout Select, it's actually only $15.99, the pre-order price right now. Uh, that's really good, and it's it's you know for a shout select title that's that's pretty low. And finally, we have the Skulls trilogy. Uh, this one had uh, Joshua Jackson and Paul Walker in it. I remember the first one being pretty good. I actually don't really remember the the other two in this trilogy, but it's coming to Blu-ray in a nice uh, three pack, and it's only twelve ninety nine. This comes out. This is a pre order. It comes out February fifteenth. So that's a it's a nice low price three you know twelve ninety nine for three movies that's it's a good deal. Well, let's go ahead and talk about everything that's coming out today. Pretty good release uh, week this week. Um, a lot of a lot of good stuff. Things that people have been anticipating. Probably the biggest thing coming out this week. I, I think it's Halloween Kills. Maybe it's Dune. I don't know, but I think for most people it's probably Halloween Kills. We've got the Blu-ray, we've got the 4K, and we've got the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I don't think we'll be seeing any of those steelbooks in stores. I mean, it looks in my area at least, they're all sold out. Um, so if you didn't have them pre-ordered, uh, chances of finding them in stores, not very good. Seems to be plenty of the slipcovers, though. They had those uh, for everyone to uh, purchase. And that's what I'll be going with, is that... Uh, 4K slipcover. This week we also have Dune coming out and it is getting the full rollout and so you know with the full rollout you're getting um, the 4K slipcover edition, of course the Blu-ray, Best Buy exclusive steelbook, you're getting a Walmart exclusive edition and a Target exclusive edition. I am really digging those Walmart exclusive editions. You know, they did that with uh, No Time to Die. And those look really cool. I just wish they would do them with the 4K as well. You know, they're only doing that with the Blu-ray. It's a nice, chunky box set, you know, that takes up a lot of shelf space. But it looks really cool, I think. Kino Lorber's putting out The Great Escape today on 4K. But I gotta tell you, man, those 4Ks from Kino, they are killing it, man. They look so nice. I wish they would upgrade that audio, but the, the picture quality's been excellent so far. I'll probably be picking this one up as well. Also coming out this week, it's got a lot of people talking, is Juice. And you we got a um, slipcover, you know, the 4K slipcover. And we've got the 4K Steelbook. Now, this isn't a Best Buy exclusive, so you can pick it up uh, pretty much anywhere that they have um, Steelbooks available. Looking on Amazon, they're saying two to three weeks on that Steelbook. Uh, so if you didn't have it pre-ordered, you might be waiting a minute on that Steelbook. But you might be able to find copies at um, possibly Walmart. I think Target would probably be your best bet. 
my Best Buy did not have copies of this uh, in stores, but you know maybe maybe they'll um, maybe others in the area did, or maybe you'll have better luck in in your area. Also coming out this week, we've got uh, Spencer. This is the uh, Princess Diana movie with Kristen Stewart, getting a lot of Oscar buzz. We've also got the movie Mass coming out, also, you know, very critically acclaimed. We've got the Deep Red 4K coming out from Arrow. And Criterion is putting out the Celebration. And just take a look at the artwork for that one. I know when I look at that cover, I think of Celebration. Criterion is definitely known for their dynamic artwork and their covers. Said no one ever. <laughs> yeah, they they do good transfers, but boy, they need help with the uh, with the artwork and and the some of the packaging. Sometimes they nail it. Sometimes they nail the packaging. They got a lot of cool books and and box sets that are really nice. But other times, man, some of their artwork is just not great. Well, those were just a few of the highlights of what came out this week. Of course, we talked about all those, everything that came out uh, this week. We talked about it last week because that's what we do on this one on this show. We look ahead to the next week. So, uh, what is my plan this week? What am I picking up this week? Um, I'm definitely picking up Halloween Kills uh, right away. Uh, I do want to do a 4K disc review uh, for the channel. I'm also curious to check out that alternate ending. I want to, you know, give, and I, I just want to rewatch it again. You know, I didn't love it when I saw it in theaters, but. Um, I'm curious. I, I, I do want to check it out one more time. If I can get my hands on the Juice Steelbook, I'm going to pick that up right away because I do want the Steelbook. Uh, if I cannot get a hold of the Steelbook, I'm probably going to wait a little bit on that slipcover. Although it's, it's already at a pretty good price. I might go ahead and pick it up. I don't know. I haven't really quite decided just yet. Uh, everything else... Um, Dune, The Great Escape, um, everything else, I think I'm going to wait for a little bit of a price drop on those. Because I am trying to do that more this year. I'm trying to wait for sales. I'm trying not to buy everything day one, pay full price. I'm trying to use that money and spend it on more imports and special editions of things. Next, I've got a new segment for you. It's a 60 second review recommendation. I don't have a name for this segment yet. I need to come up with one. Maybe you guys can suggest something in the comments. Um, what it is is I basically do give you guys a recommendation, do a quick review on it. I keep it to 60 seconds. I'm going to put up a little timer. Make sure I don't ramble on and, and too much. And I'm going to try to do it in one cut. I'm going to try to do it without editing and see if I can, uh, see if I can nail it or not. <laughs> it's actually harder than it looks to do. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll give it a shot and see how it turns out. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy this, and uh, we'll keep it going. So the movie I want to start with first for my first 60-second review is going to be Werewolves Within. So give me 60 seconds on the clock, and let's go. Werewolves Within stars Sam Richardson, who plays Finn Wheeler a newly assigned park ranger to the snowy mountain town of Beaverfield. His first day on the job doesn't go very well. When the town's access road is covered up by an avalanche, the town's generators have been sabotaged, and he finds a dead body that looks like it's probably been killed by some type of animal or creature. While all the townspeople are forced to stay at the bed and breakfast, and they slowly start to put together that one of them is probably a killer and there's probably a werewolf within their group. Uh, the cast is pretty over the top but not annoying. It was super funny. If you like the movie Knives Out, I think you're really going to enjoy this one. I liked it more than Knives Out. Uh, super funny, super rewatchable. Definitely check this one out. 
I highly recommend Werewolves Within. Nailed it. It only took me like 30 takes. So if you guys enjoyed that segment, uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, we need to name this. What could we call it? The Quickie? The 60 second movie review? Okay, help me in the comments down below. Help me come up with a name for that segment. And uh, I'll totally give you credit if I, if I pick your idea. And because here at Side Hustle Cinema, we are a forward thinking channel. Let's now jump ahead one week to January 18th and talk about all the new releases that come out when I see you next Tuesday. Looks to be a pretty solid week uh, of releases next week. Uh, some pretty good stuff coming out. We'll start with Universal Studios as they are putting out Last Night in Soho and this one is getting a Blu-ray and a 4K release. I've yet to get to check this one out. I'm really looking forward to watching this one. Uh, I've heard nothing but great things about it. Also from Universal Studios, we've got Annie Live on Blu-ray. And we've got Adam's Family 2. That's the animated one on Blu-ray. Arrow Video is putting out Shock on Blu-ray and Red Angel on Blu-ray. Decal Releasing is putting out The Last Sun on Blu-ray, and they're also putting out Titan on Blu-ray. Shout Factory will be releasing two Blu-rays next week. Uh, we're getting the 25th Remastered Anniversary Edition of Liar Liar. That's coming to Shout Select. And we're also getting The Awakener, and that one's going to be a Scream Factory release. Criterion is putting out A Hard Day's Night. That's one of their new 4Ks. And they're also putting out Time. And that one will just be a Blu-ray release. Warner Brothers will be releasing two more of the Warner Archive collection next week. Uh, the first one we're getting is Song of the Thin Man on Blu-ray. And then we're getting Edge of Darkness on Blu-ray. Powerhouse Films is putting out four movies next week on Blu-ray. They're all part of a series called the Indicator Series. It's a limited edition. And we've got The Blockhouse, The Brute, Hoffman, and Girl Stroke Boy. Troma is putting out uh, a few movies next week. Uh, it's kind of fun hearing from them. Hadn't really seen Troma on here in a while. Uh, we've got Blood Hook coming out next week on Blu-ray. We've got VHS Massacre 2 on Blu-ray. And we've got a box set. This is called The Sexy Box. <laughs> uh, the Sexy Box has three movies in it. You're getting The Waitress. Stuck on You and The First Turn On. I need to revisit some trauma movies. I, I used to be a real big fan of theirs. I used to collect a bunch of those on, on DVD. Um, I need to start getting a few more of those on Blu-ray. I've, I've got about five or six in my collection on Blu-ray. So I need to go back and, and start to get a few more of these. Maybe I'll pick up the old sexy box. <laughs> Hmm. Film Rise has a couple of releases coming out next week. We've got Beans coming out on Blu-ray. And then they've got a triple pack of, of documentaries. Uh, you're getting For the Love of Spock, Back in Time, and Ghost Heads. And those are three pretty famous uh, documentaries talking about Ghostbusters, uh, Back to the Future, and, of course, uh, so, you know, one of the Star Trek movies. Not real familiar with that one, but I, I've seen uh, Back in Time and, and Ghost Heads. That's actually a pretty cool release. Blue Underground is putting out the Standall Syndrome on Blu-ray. And we're getting a 4K release of the Toolbox Murders. Kino Lorber is putting out uh, a couple of releases next week. We've got This Game Called Murder 
on Blu-ray, Three Women on Blu-ray, and Inherit the Wind on Blu-ray. Sandpiper Pictures is putting out Nicholas Nickleby on Blu-ray, and they're also putting out Salsa on Blu-ray. Fun Nation Entertainment is putting out Akira on 4K. Lionsgate Films is putting out another Vestron series movie. Uh, this time we're getting Candyman 3, Day of the Dead, on Blu-ray. And this is one that I have pre-ordered already. Image Entertainment's putting out The Dry on Blu-ray. Kit Parker Films is putting out A Walk in the Sun on Blu-ray. The Film Detective is putting out The Capture on Blu-ray. Wellgo USA is putting out Escape from Mogadishu on Blu-ray. Cohen Media Group is putting out Expresso Bongo on Blu-ray. Syndigen is putting out Redstone on Blu-ray. Rising Sun Media is putting out Space Vampire on Blu-ray. Music Box Films is putting out Little Girl on Blu-ray. Dark Side Releasing is putting out Brides of Satan on Blu-ray. And finally, I saved one of the best for last, uh, Lionsgate Films. Is putting out one of their amazing new still books with those clear slip covers. And that is Requiem for a Dream. And we're getting that on 4K with that awesome still book. Well, that's pretty much everything that comes out uh, the week of January 18th. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the changes to the show. Um, I actually had quite a few more things that I wanted to do. Uh, some of them just... It was time constraints on some. I just didn't get around to uh, doing some of the things I want to do. So you'll notice a few more changes as the weeks move on. I've got a few other segments I might uh, play around with here and there. But I need to you know, make sure I don't make the, the videos too long. So it may be on days where there's not as many like pre-orders that I'm talking about and things like that. But uh, let me know in the comments, did you enjoy, you know, the new look of the show, you know, some of the things that I changed about it. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you are unsubscribed to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. And as always, stay safe, have fun, keep watching those movies, and I'll see you next Tuesday.